So if someone wants to start with hormone replacement therapy, what additional screenings other than blood work would they need in order to start? That's an excellent question. And that's the reason why I think that we're different than a lot of people out there that are doing this. First and foremost, especially for women, that you've had your mammograms checked. You've had, you know, you're up to date with mammograms because not that anything we do causes any sort of breast cancer, but if you do have breast cancer, you need to inform us because you we have to alter treatments for that particular patient. Uh, for men, your PSA, if you have prostate cancer, you cannot start testosterone therapy until that issue is resolved. 100% after your prostate cancer has been resolved, you can start on testosterone therapy. So there is a few things that we need to know right off the bat for both men and women, like prolactin levels. We need to make sure that your underlying issue with low libido or imbalances in your hormones are not attributed to some pituitary tumor that is causing these issues with your hormones. So that's why we need to make sure that your prolactin levels are within normal range because that would be an easy fix then. Right? So it's not really your hormones that are down, it's the fact that you have a pituitary tumor that we need to address before you can start hormone replacement therapy.